Bahamas. Azure blue ocean in the gorgeous Caribbean. Magnificent islands. Treating tourists as if they were family. Relaxing place on Earth, with a great expanse of animal life. So we're leaving the cold and icy Norway. We are taking the trip from Trondheim to Nassau, and we are leaving now. We are landing now. This is my first time ever in the Caribbean. I'm so excited. Three, two, one. Welcome to Bahamas, everyone. I'm so excited now. Right now, we're walking down the halls of Nassau International Airport. We are booked in on Atlantis Hotel. This is a part of a gigantic resort I've heard. We are so looking forward to staying here in Bahamas. We are just taking a cab to the hotel, but now we are so tired of the long flight. See you tomorrow guys, bye. Hello again. So I just woke up and went outside. Here you can see our gorgeous hotel. It lays on the opposite side of New Providence Island, and actually a little island called Paradise Island. Paradise Island is the place every tourist has wished for their entire life. This gigantic resort is so luxurious. It has an amazing water park with astonishing water slides, such as the Leap of Faith. And this one, where you can raise each other down a Mayan temple. And you are always just a few steps away from the white sand beaches with azure blue water. This is really heaven on earth. This water stream leads us around Paradise Island. You can see our hotel from here, the Mayan temples and many other amazing buildings. While I'm just laying here in the current, I can tell you some facts about Bahamas. Here you can see Bahamas, it lays in the West Indies. It stretches from Cuba in South to Florida in North. And here is their flag. And this is the national anthem. Magnificent. Bahamas and England has close bonding. This is because of the Bahamas was under the control of England from the 1600s to 1973. You can see Bahamas in yellow on top. The yellow color means that England was the owner of the land areas and the red color means that Spain owned the land. You can see that Spain controlled huge chunks of land. And this is also why almost every country in South America and the West Indies speaks Spanish today. Spain actually ruled the Bahamas, but they left because there were no materials there. They took with them the people living there to work for them, so in the 1600s when England settled down, they were all alone. This is why they speak English in Bahamas today. Bahamas therefore still has Queen Elizabeth II as their monarch because of their close bonding. On this picture, you can see the Queen at the right talking to Prime Minister Perry Christie at the left. Due to her importance for Bahamas, she is pictured on a one Bahamian dollar, and one Bahamian dollar is worth the exact amount as the American dollar. Hope you learned something new. Now we're going to leave the water park and walk around in the South City. Bye. We were walking along the beach until we got to the harbor. 
the harbor here has some gigantic cruise ships around all the time. Even the largest in the world often stops here. After we had been walking along the beach, we decided to eat at a restaurant. The bungalow which we were eating in was so nice, we decided to order Bahamian cuisine. We were served a lot of strange but well tasting fishes and lobster. The Bahamian food was a smooth mixture of seafood and tropical fruits with some standard potatoes and rice. And now we are on our way back to the resort to take a good night's sleep. Good night. Today we are in the museum Pirates of Nassau. The year is 1716. The Pirates of Nassau are gathered in the heart of downtown Nassau. Our journey started on a dock and we could hear the sound of pirates celebrating from a nearby tavern. We boarded a pirate ship called Revenge and we entered the world of cutlass wielding and bloodthirsty pirates. Out on the sea, the infamous Blackbeard's fleet began boarding us and we found ourselves on a deck with exploding cannons and torn sails. That museum was awesome, but now we are out snorkeling. There is so many strange fishes here. The days here in Bahamas is so wonderful. The fishes aren't scared either, so we can almost cuddle with them. And after we have snorkeled, we are going to go swimming with pigs. That is awesome. After a relaxing day yesterday at the resort and beach, we read in the newspaper that there soon will be a gigantic festival and parade called Junkanu. So we decided to investigate the city. The huge parade is held at Boxing Day, which is the 26th of December. Junkanu is Bahamas largest festival and people are dressing up in amazing costumes. When we are looking at the people preparing for the parade, we actually stumble across the famous Debbie Ferguson Mackenzie which has won several Olympic medals for Bahamas. She is a sprinter and has won everything. She is a world champion, a Olympic champion as I said, and on and on. She was so nice and she decided to tour us around the centre of Nassau. She began talking about the music at the parade and showed us the most common instrument guitars, drums, and a lot of weird instruments, which made a very relaxing type of music together. After Debbie left us, we decided to go sightseeing by ourselves. We saw a small church on the top of a little hill. The church's name is St. Patrick's Angelican Church. Christianity is very important for the Bahamas. The Brits that came to Bahamas for many hundred years ago were Christians, and they still are today. This is the last day of our trip to Bahamas. We are now in a little village called Adelaide. It is also on the same island as Nassau, but on the west side. We came here to see how it was outside of the city. We met a very nice old woman who told us much about Bahamas. She told us that Bahamas was not the richest country in the world, but the Caribbean holiday paradise is doing well economically, despite the lack of valuable natural resources. She said that they have not got a good system though for the sick old people, so many dies way too early, so she is praying for an upgrade soon. The reason behind the enormous amount of people coming to Bahamas every year is not just that it's so luxurious here and wonderful, but in 1963 the US imposed a ban on traveling to Cuba. So all the Americans that wished for a Caribbean vacation went to Bahamas. 
therefore, Bahamas earns precisely 80 percentages of its GDP through services. That is, for example, the cruise ships wanting to dock there. But we are on the end of our journey. It is time to go home to the cold and icy Norway again. It has not been cheap being here. The travel itself costs huge amounts of money, and the hotel was not cheap either. So we spent over a hundred thousand, but it was all worth it. Goodbye.